CSG Actuarial has launched its second product on the e-application platform, and that is our dental and vision. So in addition to the Medicare supplements, agents can now quote and enroll an applicant on a dental or a vision plan straight on the CSG quoting platform. If you are already familiar with our Medicare Supplement e-application, a lot of what you are going to see in this training video is going to look very, very similar. Um, and that's because we have developed a multi-carrier, multi-product e-application. So it is going to be the same process, the same look and feel, the same sections that you have to go through and complete, no matter if you are submitting a Medicare Supplement or a dental application. Um, you can be doing two different carriers in the process is going to look the exact same. We're really trying to streamline this process for agents, really helping you um, understand how to do an e-application, provide you one simple, quick, and easy process to use. So I already pulled up the dental quote here, so I'm gonna go through and start that quote here um, by entering the zip code. And then over on the right hand side, it will populate the city and the state. I can adjust my age, my gender, my tobacco status. I can filter it by product. So if I'm just looking for a dental or a vision, I can um, filter that way. I can also select my covered members. And then from there, I will go ahead and hit get quote. It will then take you to the quote results page any carrier that we have on the platform, you will see this blue apply now button. So in some cases, it may just be a vision policy. If it's a dental and vision policy, you can see that in the plan details um, that you can easily click on to see what's available. Um, in this demo, I'm gonna do a United National Life Dental and Vision Plan. Um, so when I'm ready to start that application, I can go ahead and hit the blue Apply Now button. Now the first time that I try to submit an application, it is going to ask me to validate that I am appointed with that particular carrier. So it will ask me to enter that in here, and then we will ping that carrier's database to make sure that you are are appointed with them. Um, from there, the system will remember you. So you don't have to enter it in every single time, but we will validate you every single time. So once I am into the application here, um, you can see I already have a notification come up that says I don't have an active appointment in Arizona, but I can still complete the application. So any of those type of notifications that would occur with your appointment, that would all come up in your notifications tab. So a couple of ways in which you can adjust the screen here, um, you can click on these three horizontal lines to make the screen a little bit bigger here for you. We have our overview section where it automatically carried over those quote details, and then you have your notifications tab. So it is a smart application. It is going to notify you if there are certain sections that are not complete and you need to go in and complete them. Um, from here, it automatically carried over that quote. I can see the initial documents if I do just need a copy of that paper application or I need to send the documents to an email address, I can do so that way as well. Over here, you will have your sections that you will have to go in and complete. Once you have gone through all of the sections, you will have a green check mark. Once that has done been done, you can review and lock the application. So I'm gonna show you how to do this application start to finish. We're gonna start the application here with the applicant's information, first name, last name, mailing address, etc. From here, make sure you do have the correct email address in here. If you are doing the applicant signature through an email address, make sure that that email address is correct. You can change your selected benefit amount. So if you originally did a $1,000 policy, if you wanna bump that up to 1,500, you can change that still on the application. It will then automatically update the monthly premium up in the upper right-hand corner. Um, from there, I can go ahead and hit continue, or I can navigate through the sections. With the dental application, this is a really quick and easy application to go through, so there's not a ton of sections that you do have to complete, um, but if you needed for some reason to skip those, you could. 
You'll notice here as I completed that section, I do have a green check mark. So that means that section has been comp completed and it is good to go. Um, next question, previous or existing. So if I did have yes, I can select that company name and the type of insurance. In this case, we're gonna do no and hit continue. With the method of payments, we can do monthly. You can select on a particular draft day. You can select the account type. In this case, we will go ahead and do checking. You can either search by typing in the bank's name or by typing in that routing number. After the banking information has been entered, you can go ahead and hit continue. The to be completed by producer section, we can select the delivery of the policy. Make sure I have recorded everything for accuracy. If for some reason you do have to provide notes to the underwriting department, you can enter them here. Most dental or vision is guarantee issue, so I'm still making that available if for some reason you had to. You can upload any supporting documents if needed, and then go ahead and hit verify application. From there, I can go ahead and review each section to make sure everything is complete. If there's a certain section that I did see an error in, I can go in and edit that section. Um, so I can just quickly review here. Everything looks good. Although this is an e-application, if you did need to print for a wet signature, you do have that option to do that. Um, in this case, we're gonna go through the electronic signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit lock and e-sign. This is agreeing to the terms and the conditions of the electronic signature, so I can go through that and hit I agree and continue. Now with the signature, there are a couple different options. The signature process is going to vary based upon carrier, um, but in this case, I have the applicant providing identification information or that email signature link. So if I am in the same physical location and I wanted to provide that identification, mother's made a name, last four digits of their social security number. If not, this is where that applicant signature from the first screen comes into place. It will then send the applicant an email with a link and a verification code. They will open up that email, click on the link, enter in that verification code, and go ahead and sign it from there. In this case, they are present. We're going to do applicant providing identification information, mother's made a name, last four digits of their social security, carries over the city and the state that they are signing in, apply e-signature, and then the producer signature is going to automatically carry over your producer name and then the writing number, and then you'll just select apply e-signature. Um, if for some reason that email address, that if you were doing that email signature link and it was incorrect, here at the bottom of the screen, you can go in and edit that application. Um, then from here, we'll hit sign application. It's then going to validate the application, make sure everything is good to go, and it's going to submit directly to the carrier. So we have tied into all of the, the carrier's platforms. It's going to go right into the carrier's queue. It is going to provide you a policy number, so um, it still has to go to the carrier in order for them to issue the policy, but you will have that policy number, so you can always check in with the carrier to check on that status of that application. Um, once the application um, number has been provided to you, you can go and you return to your applications. Um, from there, you can see your completed list of applications, whether that's a Medicare supplement or a dental or a vision, um, you will have all of that available to you. All of your carrier and product e-applications will then store here in your applications. You can see all of the ones that you have submitted. You can see that policy number. You can see that submitted. If you wanted to view a copy of that application, you can go ahead and click view. It will then pull up what you have submitted onto that carrier's paper application. So you can see here, this is what I went through and completed. 
The system will store incomplete applications as well. So if you started an application and need to come back to it at any point, um, it will store that as well. You can always go in and edit that application if you do see incomplete. And for some reason you start an application, you're not going to finish it, you can go ahead and delete that application. Um, so if you have any questions on how to use the new dental or vision e-application, we're always happy to answer any questions that you may have. Again, really trying to streamline that process for agents, giving them one platform where they can quote and enroll multi-carriers, multi-product enrollment tool.